Hey everyone, welcome to Pot of Coffee Podcast with your hosts, Bruce and Brooklyn. What, 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 how you doing Bruce? What's going on Brooklyn, how you doing today? I'm good. You good? Had a great day. Yeah. Interesting. We yep. had a good, good writing session this morning. Yeah, we did. We uh, got a new episode up today. Got a new episode up today. Check it out. It's our episode four. Five. Five. Episode five. Wow, we're flying through these. Well, we're not flying through. No, no. I mean, it obviously takes a lot of time and effort, but <laughs> I mean, for the audience, where it's coming out, coming good, so you don't got to wait too long for the next episode. Yo. Yeah, we're doing our best we can to keep working and not being lazy about things, and we got, we're got we on some new platforms. Yeah, what, we what? are. We are on, you can subscribe to us at Pot of Coffee on YouTube and the WeTube. Follow at Pot of Coffee 1 on Twitter. Like Pot of Coffee on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram at Pot of Coffee Podcast. We're also on SoundCloud. Under Pot of Coffee Podcast. And I think we have our episodes up on every platform except for the SoundCloud. I believe we didn't get to today. Did we not? No, no I, I, I didn't get to it. Huh? So I will work on that tomorrow or maybe this episode will start uploading to the SoundCloud. But everybody that's on SoundCloud, I mean, still like and you got content on the way shortly. Yes, very shortly. So we're doing our best and learning and trying to give you what you want. Yeah. Cause I know what I want. So, I was thinking, with how tired I am, needing all this coffee, that's what we like to do, is sit around, drink coffee, hang out with our friends and chill. Yeah. Have some good sessions, you know? Uh, so is that why there's two <laughs> coffee cups steaming on the monitor and jazz music playing? Yeah, I wanted to get into like that, you know. It says cafe music. Yeah, cafe music. Uh, I, I wanted to have a coffee show. So like a coffee shop feel. Yeah, but right. I wanted it to be cool because I needed like, I wanted to get facts. Facts. Well, all right, because how, how often do you really sit here and think? How often do we really sit here and talk about <laughs> coffee? Well, yeah, not even that, but like even when you <coughs> drink your coffee, like my favorite time of day is uh, the, fir- like, the first cup of coffee in the morning. Like when I'm sitting there. Just like relaxing with my own thoughts. That is the best time of the day, but the coffee is the second part of the good part. (laughs) 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 You gotta have a big bowl of your Wheaties and have breakfast with your coffee. Very true. So, I got a question for you. Okay. What do you know about coffee and its history? Coffee and its history. I know it's a bean. I know it comes from a Colombia. I know there's a guy, I think his name was Juan Valdez, and he had a donkey, and there's a big TV commercial and stuff about it. Um, I don't know too much about good coffees. I've had some good coffees at like coffee shops and stuff in different spots in the world, but I didn't really know what I was drinking, you know? And then the weirdest thing that I know about coffee, which is somewhere in like, South America in the rainforest, there's this like this little like uh, kind of like a lemur looking thing, but it's not a lemur. It's like a big cat with a tail, tree climbing. I I don't know. A jaguar? Kind of, no, it's it's kind of like a like a lemur, but it's not a lemur. It, oh, it, it's small like a lemur. I, I don't. It's a weird creature, kind of like a lemur. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm I'm just go with me. <laughs> I'm trying to, so anyway, but I can't get there. It's kind of like a monkey cat thing. Like <laughs> monkey a freaking, cat it's like a small lemur, just put it that way. So figure small small King Julian <laughs> What about the King Julian? So he goes to uh, the rainforest and he eats, actually, they eat coffee beans. So what happens is the most expensive coffee in the world or something that I read is actually shit out by this creature. And people actually hunt this creature, and they don't kill the creature, they're hunting its turds. And they take its turds, and the way it, the coffee digests, and it just makes it, the, it's the most expensive I coffee get, in the world. I'm, so I'm very I, serious. It was on uh, Facebook. It must be true. <laughs> it probably is, because I'm on a lot of, like, fact pages. and. Well, how far do you think coffee dates back? Like, when do you think that... Like Probably the beginning of the time since that critter eats it. And 
Well, what do you mean, like when people started? People started drinking coffee. I'd say as soon as they found the coffee bean. Well, it started. <laughs> <laughs> it started back in to uh, eight hundred A.D. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like I have two heads? Eighteen hundred or eight hundred. Wow. <laughs> it's eight hundred years after Christ. <laughs> That's nice. Instead, what happened is, and now, so the the I found a couple of different things, but this is the early earliest I could find. Uh, it can trace its heritage back to uh, the ancient co coffee forests in the Ethiopian plateau. Uh, a Gert herder, his a name goat was herder or uh, a Gert. <laughs> I I'm all tongue tied. <laughs> Tuggle tied. I'm lung tied. Lung tied. I Probably promise not to cough. Too. I didn't want to cough in this episode and <laughs> I blew it out of the water. <laughs> uh, <coughs> so, a girt herder. Goat herder. Named Kaldi. Okay. K A L D I. She probably saying that wrong, folks. Probably. So well, she okay. spelt it. You go, get what she meant. The word Aldi is in it, and K in front of it. So Caldi. <laughs> <laughs> First discovered this uh, with his goats. Okay. They, apparently, um, the goats were eating. Like you know how the the uh, plant has like berries and stuff on it. Yeah. Apparently, the goats were eating the berries from that tree. And his goats became so energetic that they did not go to sleep that night. Oh, uh, from all the caffeine, I reckon. Yeah. And uh, so he's, he gave his findings to the abbot of the local <coughs> monastery, who made a drink with the berries and found that it kept him alert through his long hours of the evening prayers. Oh. Uh, he shared his discovery with other monks. Did you ever eat a coffee bean? I have. They're actually pretty good. Chocolate covered ones. And I was just going to say they do have chocolate covered yeah. ones. So that's probably why I like that lemur critter. It's probably a LaRugaroo or something, really. LaRugaroo? <laughs> that's in Louisiana, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. It's a critter. Well, this is the Ethiopian plateau. Well, maybe there's LaRugaroo's over there. <laughs> that's where it came from, folks. That's our next episode. LaRugaroo. <laughs> the origin of the LaRugaroo. <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it just kind of word caught on from there. So do you think it caught on because everybody was able to work longer hours and have more energy and kind of like, uh, well, caffeine addiction? Cause yeah, well, they, that it is, is a serious. Addiction. That is a serious thing. It is. You know, and they, they actually have caffeine pills and then there's all the energy drinks and all that other stuff. Those aren't really, I mean, I, I'm probably going to catch a lot of flack for this, but those are not good for you. They're not. They're I, really I, not. I love Red Bull. Like I, I used to drink it all the time. I love. I like the way it tastes. I like everything about it. I never got. I liked monsters or none of that stuff. And Red Bull was always my thing. Yep. But I guess I had that rich blood. <laughs> no, that's like. Red Bull's expensive. I think the monster and stuff like that's more expensive. No, that's cheaper when you get that giant, okay. that giant ass can. Red Bull, you get like six ounces. Huh. For like double the price of a monster, but a Red Bull, whew, that's like high quality cocaine compared to like. <laughs> crap that you get all stepped on is like a monster I guess but that's bad for your heart yeah I used to drink so much of it at work at this one job and then I had this used to stay up late and uh, I'd be pounding five hour energies and Red Bulls until I start shaking and then we'd be drinking coffee too because where we lived at the time it snow that's nuts. yeah I'm surprised I didn't like fry out like a lot they found like there was a lot of uh, younger Teen, well, I guess not younger, younger, but you know, younger teenagers, like probably like 16 years. Like, they've been drinking it since they were even younger than that. Yeah. And they're finding out now that they're probably in their like 20s or 30s that and they have there a are lot heart of issues. issues. You know why they have a lot of issues? I bet. Not that I know what I'm talking about, but I bet it's because they're still growing and they're undeveloped. Kind of like a teen really shouldn't smoke marijuana until you're of age and your brain stopped growing. So think about your heart still growing. You're. You parts think of your all body that stuff growing. still I mean yeah. I obviously I understand like the brain thing. Well yeah, your organs and stuff are growing too with you, especially a teenager. They're getting bigger and stronger and developing and hmm. you know, so if you start putting uh we'll just say uh foreign uh, foreign uh 
chemicals or toxins in your body, that's going to go through your system and that's going to affect your growth or maybe even stunt your growth. Even I something as simple as tobacco. I was was going to stunt my growth, but I was okay with that because I'm a girl and I don't need to be tall. Yeah, I like them short. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm, I'm being serious, like maybe it's, you know, caffeine could have a lot of effects kind of like that. I'm sure other drugs and stuff, you know, because, you know, you need to grow naturally and just have the vitamins that your body needs, not extras. Yeah. Once you're adult and you're developed, then you just do your own damage, I guess, you know, and it doesn't matter. But your body can take on more damage because it's strong, because it grew strong. Hmm. If you catch it while it's still growing, it doesn't get to finish growing Makes right. sense. Yeah. Well, so, there are two different main types. Can we call me Dr. Bruce for the rest of the episode? No. Oh. I sounded like a doctor there. You think? Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about organs. Organs. <laughs> 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 well, there's two ta- two main types of coffee. Arabica and Robusta. I never heard of that one. I okay. heard of the Arabica. Are you ready? Ar- Arabica. Arab. I'm at the point right now, Arabica. like, remember uh, Black Sheep, where the, the, the nitrous oxide leaked into the... Uh, and you said Robusta? Uh, it says Robusta. Robusta. Yeah. Robusta and uh, Arubica. Robusta rhymes. Robusta rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Arubica. What about Colombian? There's Arab- only two types? Arabica. Arubica. No. Yes. Arab? I don't know. If you could say it right, so that is yours, because I can't say it right. Bruce said it right, because he's a doctor. <laughs> well, so the growers, I guess they predominantly grow uh, those two types. So there's two types of plants, guys. The Robusta is a little bit more bitter and contains more caffeine. Okay. Robusta. So maybe it's like a sativa so indica it thing. It sounds like Robusta. It sounds like, you know, like some, like, colon medicine. Robusta. (laughs) You see like a golden retriever run through a field with some guy holding the lady's hand just skipping and it's like... Like the daisy field. Yeah. Robusta once a day. Side effects shipping out of your asshole. What country do you think grows the most coffee in the world? Colombia. No. Really? Yep. What about Juan? I don't know about Juan. Colombian coffee is supposed to be the best. I always try to buy Colombian coffee. (laughs) For some reason, in my brain, it's like you could stand in the coffee aisle, see every coffee in the world, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, every type, Maxwell House, all the brands, and as long as it says Colombian on it, I'll buy it. But that doesn't mean that it's Colombian coffee. Yes, I think it does. it's like the particular type of bean, like the... The beans from Colombia. I don't know. Juan Valdez made it. Well, obviously not, because Brazil grows the most, most coffee in the world. Yeah, but they're growing them other two kinds. <laughs> We're not into Colombian coffee yet. Uh, they produce about a third of the world's supply. A third. It's about twice as mu- twice as much as the second place holder. Colombia. Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah but that's probably like made in China coffee. Made in China coffee. Yeah. Is that like cheap? like the cheaper coffee? Yeah, <laughs> like mass produced. Well, the Asian countries have factories and mass produced, and you know what I mean. So what's the third? I don't know. Because you said... I only got two. Brazil's one third. Vietnam's the second of the third. So I bet you the third third's Colombia. Third well, place is the loser, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they're a loser. It might be still the best. Uh, it doesn't... It's. I have only two. What if Colombia is like a quality, not quantity? <laughs> so yeah, number three will be Colombia, because Dr. Bruce <laughs> said... <laughs> well... So there's also two United States that, <coughs> U.S. states, United States. That grow coffee? Yeah, that really? grow coffee. You, can you any guess? Um, let's see, coffee, and let's see if it's grown in Brazil and Vietnam. I'm going to say California. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Bruce is on fire. Yep. California and Arizona. California and Hawaii. Hawaii. You know, it makes sense. It's really tropical there. It does, and I forgot about that island. How do you forget about Hawaii? <laughs> it's kind of like Alaska. It's like up there so far, you don't even look that high. So you get like one that's like all the way up and one that's all the way down. Yeah, nobody looks that far up. 
weren't that much left. Uh, you know what I was thinking about, and it made me really, really laugh. Do you remember the first time I took you to a Starbucks? <coughs> yes. And the girl asked you <laughs> what you wanted to order. And I said, black coffee. And she looked at you like you had ten heads. Yeah. I did. And we just stared at each other and I... She did not uh, understand my language. A small black coffee. Yeah, and then I ended up speaking to her like she was a toddler, and she said, finally figured out what I was saying. I said, oh, you'd like an Americano. And I said, no, just a regular black coffee, like the cheapest shit you got. (laughs) And then she still got a call. She just could not say black coffee. I hate that place. Well. I think their idea is good. Like, you know, high-end stuff, and they got that little bit of food, and everything looks nice. It's just, and then I like the sitting down part and all that, but it's for some reason, it's just not cool for me. Like, <laughs> is it is it, is it not cool for you because it's cool for everybody else? No, because when I was, I was overseas at a place, and I used to hang out at a Starbucks, but it was different. Okay, how now different? This, well, it was different because they had, like, an outside place, and everybody was actually, like, nice, and nobody was, like, a bunch of bitchy women. Like running in and out in yoga pants and shit. It was like normal people. It was more like a mom and pop coffee shop. Mm. But where the country I was in was super coffee. They love coffee. There's coffee shops everywhere. Mm. But there was also Starbucks everywhere. But the Starbucks in the USA, then you just got a bunch of yoga moms and Karens and hustle bustle in and yeah. out. I mean, over there it was different. Well, people just chilling, hanging think- out, having a good time. There's no hanging, a good, having a good time in the Starbucks in America because everybody's just grilling each other. I think that overseas, you know, and not I'm not talking like Europe. Remember the McDonald's? Yeah, I'm not talking like overseas, like Europe. I'm talking like you know, like like other countries, like Korea and yeah. Japan and stuff like that. You know, they take more pride in everything. Not that, and I'm not saying, folks, that pe- that you know, you're not prideful in your jobs. But these people, they take it to like a, a Everything's crazy the extra level. mile, no matter what. Even if it's just to wrap it on a McDonald's burger, it is perfect. That burger, actually, if any McDonald's in America, you open up your burger and it never will look like the picture. It looks like the picture, yeah. And if you order something in, you know, Jap- Japan, Korea, or one of them countries over there in a McDonald's, one, the McDonald's don't even look like the McDonald's. It looks like a five-star restaurant. Yeah. Two, you actually get real glasses. Three, it's a lot cheaper, and the food looks exactly like the picture, like spitting image. Like they printed out the picture, and here's your burger. Yeah. And it's amazing. It's warm. It's not squished. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And the place is... And they deliver. Immaculate. Yeah, deliveries right to your house. I mean, it's just so much further ahead. The best way to be fat in another country. <laughs> yeah, but it tastes totally different too in another country. They do. It really does. It's not all processed and it's more real food. Which is really, really strange. What? Well, I'm sure they're somewhat processed. I mean, no. But they have different standards then. They do, but they. Like the FDA and stuff. Well, they don't have an FDA. Yeah, they have that's their what own. I'm saying. It's different yeah. standards. But I think the food over there at McDonald's and stuff was more real than the food we get at our McDonald's here. However. However. Some of those hole in the wall places are fucking nasty. <laughs> you got fucking cooks pissing in the freaking sink in the next room like two boots over from you. Yeah, there was that restaurant I went to, I asked to go to the bathroom and the food was excellent. <laughs> the place was the dirtiest place in the middle of an alley in the middle of an Asian country. And we go in there, and nobody speaks English, so we have to point pictures. And this is the kind of place where you can get, like, shark and what you name it, the hat. So, excellent food, but you have to go to the bathroom, and it's just a sink in the kitchen. So, as they're kitchen, as they're cooking, you're just standing there pissing, and, like, two feet away from the cook, and that's normal there, though. Yeah. Or just, like, there's no toilets for women. Oh, yeah. Squat. They're actually, like, urinals laid in the floor, so the women's squat over them <laughs> or just a pipe and no toilet paper or just a pipe <laughs> gotta bring your own toilet paper i remember you came out of the one bathroom and you said it was just a pipe they didn't even have the urinal on the floor <laughs> <laughs> i remember the, the urinal on the floor and how shocked i was like i was just like 
there's no bathroom. And you're like, what do you mean there's no bathroom? <laughs> I just went, and I'm like... The men's room was all the same. I was like, it was a urinal turned sideways on the floor. Well, that's how the uh, stalls were in the men's room. But there was always a handicapped stall with a regular toilet. So that was always a win. Yeah, until somebody in a wheelchair is sitting there waiting for them to use the bathroom and you're just sitting there taking your <coughs> sweet ass time. Yeah, but that's when I used to come out of there like a dumb American, like, oh, I don't even know how to use the bathroom. I I'm an idiot. Because I don't know how to know. You know, and then you got to walk around with your own toilet paper. Well, back on Target, uh, <laughs> because of your uh, refusal to call the Americano the Americano. Yeah. What do you think espresso means? Um, ain't it like fast? Hurry, rush, rush, nope. high caffeine? Nope. No? It means pressed out in Italian. Really? Yes, pressed out. It uh, is, refers to the way that it's made, forcing boiling water yeah. through the pressed coffee grounds. And although the espresso has more caffeine per volume than coffee, it would take three shots to equal the amount in a regular cup of coffee. So how does that make any sense? Like liquid amount? Yeah. So it would take three shots for your liquid Three one amount. ounce shots to equal. But you'd be dead by then. Well, 12 ounces is a cup or 10 ounces is a cup. Yeah. So three ounces is equal to 10 in caffeine levels mm. is what that's saying. This is like a, like a little shot glass or something, right? That they put it in? Yeah, a shot glass, which is an ounce. Bruce might have been a bartender oh, no, back in the day. Dirt. And I, I'm sorry, but I didn't open my beverage. <laughs> I've been really, really working hard to not do that. And it's all right, man. <sighs> you got through two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but three out of six episodes, you hear me open a Coke. Two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> so I'm 50 50 on trying. <laughs> Well, oh, so I did find that fact for you about that meerkat or whatever it was. Okay. Uh, so the world's most expensive coffee can cost more than $600 a pound. And is it the one I was talking yes. about in the beginning it of the show? It is one of the most coveted varieties, and it comes from the feces of an Asian palm civet? Civet? C-I-V-E-T. It looks like a kind of like a lemur cat thing. The cat like creature. <laughs> I thought you were talking at your ass. <laughs> See, I, I really am. When I say I learned it from Facebook, I don't mean a meme. I mean, like, I'm on some pages where, like, I'm smart before uh, evening time. Okay. Once the evening hits, I, I shut my brain off. Well, it's a cat like creature. Yeah. It eats fruit, including coffee cherries, but is unable to digest the beans. Uh, so it ex the excreted seeds produce a smooth, less acidic brew called Kopi Luwak. Well, how can I pronounce Kopi Luwak, but I can't pronounce Civet? C-I-V-E-T? Anyways. <laughs> but the means of production has drawn criticism from animal wel welfare activists, which I can see because then you're, it's like the chickens. No, but they don't do that with them. I thought that the story that I read is like you actually like go into the jungle and look for the turds. Yeah. And, and it's kind of like, you know, like uh, they, they search for their mushrooms. Yeah. Over like there the, in like uh, the Blue Mountains in Virginia or truffles. whatever. Truffles. Not truffles. There's a, like moral mushrooms. I don't know about the so, I know about the truffles though. <laughs> <laughs> but they do that in like Virginia and stuff and out in like the Blue Ridge Mountain stuff. But you go and you got to go to, and they're hard to find. But there's like groves of people that go look for this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure over there there's groves of people looking for this shit. It's weird. But like, I, I'm under the assumption if the, you know, like PETA and stuff's involved. Maybe they could do like chicken. Like or, farm them, yeah. Yeah, that's fucked up. Though. That is fucked up. Because I seen a picture of it. It's a really cool looking creature. I thought you were going to talk about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they show it. They show the creature and the guy's holding the shit in its hand, and they show the turd and like the process. I'm. It's a real thing. I saw something on TV the and other I day. And I told you the most expensive. That there is this. There is this one little critter, and when it poops, it poops cubes. Like it actually, it's like square when it comes. Ain't out. they uh, oh, guinea pigs or something, hamsters or something? Poop square little turds. 
Let's I talk about coffee call. instead of turds. <laughs> Let's finish the turd coffee. I'm not getting the other turds. Maybe we should just have a shit show. <laughs> shit show. <laughs> Welcome to the shit show, people. <laughs> There's a show about shit and nothing but shit, so help me shit. <laughs> Constipated. What? Well, oh, would Did that you? be your writer's block on the shit show? It would be constipated. <laughs> <laughs> constipated for the shit show. I'm dumb. Well, so did you know, uh, you know, there's always like some bad eggs with everything. And these idiots, there's, uh, there was a bunch of people that tried to get coffee banned. What? Yeah. Well, maybe they got like sick from it because they drank too much with the caffeine or... You know, people started getting addicted to it. Maybe, it, what year was it that they tried to ban it? Because if it was back in the day, it could be like some stupid addiction, drug crap thing. Back in the year 1511. Yeah, it makes sense now. Leaders in Mecca believed it stimulated radical thinking and outlawed it. Yeah, because it made them all kooky. They were probably like, let's write a declaration of independence. <laughs> <laughs> No, but some people, I know a couple of people that can't drink coffee at all. Well, in Italy in the 16th century, okay, they tried to ban it because they believed it was satanic. However, one of the popes loved it so much that he lifted the ban and had, it, had coffee baptized in the year 1600. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I could see it though, because you ever wake up and... You know, you go to go to work and you didn't have time because you're running late or something. So you, you skip the coffee. The yeah. Could you, like your whole morning commute to get to work. I don't think there's ever actually been a day that I skip coffee. There's been a few times where uh, I've had to wait. I remember when I was young. But it does make for, oh. So the, and right there, just that how miserable you feel for not having the coffee right away. That's an addiction thing. So maybe it is, well, it is an addiction. a lot of people are addicted, and maybe that's why they were coming up with rules and trying to ban it. Well, they're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, although you can't overdose on coffee. I bet you more people died from coffee than weed. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> you can't die on weed. <laughs> Doesn't kill you. It makes you stronger. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you stronger. It's true. <laughs> um. The Swedish government made coffee and coffee paraphernalia, 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 including cups and dishes, illegal for. Wow. It's supposed it ties to like rebellion. What year is this? It says as recently as the 18th century. Wow. That was in Sweden. People are crazy. I guess. That's why they drink the cocoa. The cocoa. I guess, um, Swiss Miss Coco. No matter what time, what century, there was a group of people that just. They just want somebody, to be bitch. Somebody always doesn't like something and they just gotta fight it and fight and fight until they get their way. That's so ridiculous. And it's something as simple as a drink. Like, if you don't like it, don't drink it. Right? Or same with, like, smoke. And if you don't like smoking, don't smoke. If you don't like Facebook, scroll past it. Yeah, if you don't like Facebook, get the fuck off it. You stop like... bitching, stupid people, and stop ruining things for the rest of us. So I guess no matter what, there's always somebody that's not going to like something, but they got to have it their way. They should just stay at Burger King. They'll always have it their yeah, way. Yeah, Burger King, bitch. Have it your way. All the time. <laughs> the king makes sure. <laughs> uh, do you know where the home to the, the country that is home to the biggest coffee lovers? Colombia. Finland? <laughs> I can't. I haven't mentioned Colombia once. <laughs> by, the end, it, by the end of this episode, if Columbia does not come up in that magic screen you have on your lap, <laughs> I'm drop kicking it. <laughs> you buy me a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, it's the studios. The show. Uh, people who drink coffee are also. They, I don't know why I can't say the words that I. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't speech. You can't speak to that kid's face. But I've been pretty uh, smart today on the show. Coffee drinkers tend to live longer lives. I know everything's been up and down, you know, how many cups a day, all this other stuff. But I drink. The recent. How many cups a day do you drink, Brooklyn? Uh, it depends. Sometimes three. Three? 
I know you used to drink, like, drinking coffee at night. I used to drink. We like, still drink coffee at night. Well, yeah. I mean, after dinner, you, ha- you sit down yeah. and it settles your belly. And we drink coffee when we did a show. That's the out night one. Yeah. But then I only drink one cup in the morning, and I'll start drinking at 8 and put it in, like, a travel cup. And yeah, I, but that you, that lasts you. I will sip on that cup until like one o'clock. I'm like that dude from Mallrats that walked around with the Dixie <laughs> cup. It's just me and my coffee cup for about six hours to drink. Six hours. But I just sip on it, you um, know. And I got that real good but cup. It, it stays warm in that cup. Yeah, that cup it stays like boiling all day. I think it gets hotter in the cup. Could. It's a conspiracy. It's a good cup. They have those things, those ones that you can plug in to like yeah. your, your cigarette lighter and it keeps it warm and it even like, some of them even get like mixed as well. Like it mixes it for you. Keep stirring. Yeah. That's too much for me. It's fancy. Tell you what, I like, I got that Contigo. Ooh. Yeah. All day I could rock hot coffee. What? I discovered that, oh, I don't know, a couple of years ago I think. Yeah. And it, I, I just, I, I won't get another type. Yeah, I won't either. Yeah, ever since you found that one and showed it to me. Yeah. That's all we buy. But yeah, so coffee drinkers tend to live longer. Uh, research linking moderate consumption, which is about three to four cups a day. Okay. Uh, so I'm a cup short then. <laughs> but then my cup in the morning is probably actually you two have, cups. It's probably about two cups. So then, yeah, I'm going to live forever. Forever. Uh, but yeah, they have a longer lifespan, Redu- uh, reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, Parkinson's. I so thought you said tattoo diabetes. Tattoo, tattoo diabetes. Uh, yeah, type 2 diabetes it and Parkinson's. And Parkinson's. Home. It reduces the risk. It doesn't help with it. It oh, reduces okay. the risk of it. So if you, you know, you're more likely not to get that if okay. you it, have three to four cups of coffee a day. Less of a chance. Yeah. Okay, good. That's uh, according to Harvard Health. So I guess, folks, what y'all should do is... uh, Drink two to four, uh, three to four (laughs) cups of coffee. Pop on these episodes and at least drink a cup a day. Dr. Bruce says it's a... Three episodes a day, man. Your new prescription. (laughs) Dr. Bruce said so. Yeah. And I like buying those, like, coffee creamers, the the flavored ones. I can't put anything in my coffee. I've been drinking those coconut ones. I am straight up black. I know. But then you complain about your stomach hurting and ulcers and all this other stuff, and you won't uh, fix it with milk or anything. That's how I do. That's how you roll. So they uh, did a Guinness with coffee. Guinness? A Guinness. Okay. Uh, the largest cup of coffee ever filled was nine foot tall. Whoa. It was 3,487 gallons. Okay. And that was in 2012. And what was the point of that besides waste? I'm sure they shared it. Like I'm sure that it was like all black, and they filled it in like a sterile, nine foot tall cup, and then, cup, and then everybody it could have it. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Maybe they weren't wasteful. Maybe everybody eats like the like 20 foot pizzas. Well, that, as long as they eat it, did uh, they eat it? Did it say? Why are you trying to cheat? I'm not trying to cheat. I just want to see if they <laughs> ate the Look coffee. Look it at my computer. Or drank Cheated. the coffee. <laughs> or I want to know if maybe it was Paul Bunyan's cup. Uh, no, it doesn't say. It just says no. it was. Yeah. Also, you know what else popularized coffee in the Americas? What? The Boston Tea Party. Well, yeah, because they threw out all the tea. They had nothing to drink. <laughs> they had nothing else to drink. <laughs> <laughs> they probably threw it all off the pier and they were like, yeah, fuck you. And they were like, they went home and the wife was like, would you like a cup of tea, darling? And he was like, son of a bitch. Not in my house, you call me bitch. <laughs> no, he, he thought and just realized what he did. And he was like, fuck, I do want a cup of tea. <laughs> well, I guess it was it, it was like, to, if you, during the revolution and like leading up to it, uh, you, it was considered patriotic to sip coffee in lieu of tea. Um you know, so I guess it was kind of like that their way to like bite their thumbs at the British. Yeah, if I lived back then, I'd have like a bunch of tea. St- I'd be selling tea in the alleys and shit. Would you? I would be like the tea deal. deal. I'd be like black mar- market and tea. Psst. Psst. Stop. What you want? I got red rose, bitch. Red rose. <laughs> Lipton. Lipton. <laughs> what you need? What you need? I, I got five dollar Lipton bags, <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> 
You a red coat? You know, if I ask you, you have to tell me if you're a red coat. <laughs> <laughs> Coats are the ones that drank the tea. So they, I know. I know. They wouldn't need They'd the, be busting you for selling the tea. Why would they bust us? Because you didn't pay tax. Oh, yeah. I don't know how that worked. I just want to sell tea now. <laughs> 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 so, folks who think you're getting decaf coffee, you know that does not actually mean caffeine free. It's less. It, yeah. It, uh, it's filtered out so there's still some or something. An eight ounce brewed cup of decaf actually contains two to 12 milligrams of caffeine. Uh, regular is between 95 to 200. Ain't that like non alcoholic beer? There's still a little bit of trace amounts of alcohol or something, where hemp has still has trace amounts of THC. Well, hemp, hemp has trace amounts of THC. I think non alcoholic beer does too. I don't know. I never. I never. I think uh, it's like less than like 0.05% or something. I have some friends that were in the military and they would always get like the, the near beer, they would call yeah. it. Yeah, oh, duels. And uh, I mean, they never, they were like, oh, you know, it's not really, it wasn't fun drinking it. So I don't know. Maybe they didn't get anything <laughs> yeah. off of it. I mean, beer tastes good, but I don't know about drinking beer without the effects of the beer. Uh, kind of like we wouldn't drink coffee like for the taste. Hemp, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Near beer's not my thing. Not like hemp. I got my CBD vape with the hemp on it. That chills it. you out, though, doesn't it? Yeah, but those are like 4,000 milligram hits. So as soon as you hit that, I like to hit that before I go to bed. Yeah. And it definitely makes things uh, a little easier to fall asleep. And hmm. So strangely enough, the word coffee comes from the, here's the word I can't say again, <laughs> Arabic word for wine. Arabic. Arabic. No, Arabic. Yeah, it's Arabic. Oh. Like Arabian Nights, Arabic. All right. You're the one I can't like, say it. It was like some weird word. I can't even find it now. <laughs> Arabic -in, something weird. Arabic -in? But anyways. <laughs> That's not so even real. coffee comes from the Arabic word for wine. So it's like black wine. Uh, okay. So these these people are really testing me. Testing you. Kahwa later became kave in Turkish, <laughs> and then coffee in Dutch, <laughs> which is where we get the English word coffee. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what's good about that, Brooklyn. Yes. Our listeners definitely know we're not scripted. <laughs> we we don't even. I do have this stuff written down, but I don't have like our conversation written down. We don't read what we write. I do read it. I just can't pronounce this shit. Yeah. You put you pronounce it. I just listen to you mess it up. I don't need to mess it up. We they don't need both of us to mess it up. Oh man. They're oh, still man. laughing from you messing it up. Probably. So if they laugh more now, they might pee. <laughs> uh, Starbucks opens an average of two stores a day. Really? That's kind of like a Dollar General. <laughs> that's, just, that's like overnight. Yeah, they build them in like an hour. I think they're uh, like blow ups. Like blow ups, like the bouncy houses? Yeah, they just like, oh, we can put Dollar General there, just. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, go! <laughs> I mean, they, there's a Dollar General every quarter mile. Well, there's 29,000 locations around the world. Holy shit. 29. And 20,000 of that is in Seattle. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I thought she was real. I was like, what? In one city, they have 20,000 Starbucks. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts is like that in some cities, though. I like Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> I like their donuts. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like their breakfast. I'm not a Krispy Kreme person. I'm a Dunkin' Donuts person. <laughs> yeah, fuck Krispy Kreme. No, there's some people that like Krispy Kreme. <laughs> I'm just not one of those people. I prefer Dunkin' Donuts. I'd eat it if like somebody put it out and was like, hey, look, I brought donuts. I'd be like, oh, yeah, you rock, dude. Although... There is one place, and I can't remember the name, 
but there is one place that we had gone to, and a friend of ours used to leave their donuts for us. Uh, yeah, but that's mom and pop place. But that was a really good place. I can't remember the name, but it was really, really, really good. Yeah, that was that yeah. far down south, somewhere in the south. But uh, one black of coffee only has one calorie. Did you say one black of coffee? What did I say? I think you said one black of coffee. <laughs> it, either she said it or my ears broke. <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> we titled this show The Shot Show. The Shot Show. <laughs> one cup of black coffee only has one calorie. Really? Yeah. What That's they, why you're so skinny. What do they consider a cup? Ten ounces? Uh, or eight ounces? I think it's 12 ounces. Well, one cup is eight ounces. Okay, so it's eight ounces then. Yeah. Yeah, eight ounces. And supposedly, Teddy Roosevelt. Okay. He reportedly coined Maxwell House's slogan. Really? Which is that good to the last drop. The best part of waking up. That's folders. It's in your cup. Have you been seeing those new Folgers commercials? I haven't seen TV in like this lifetime. This shit's crazy. Like they got people singing. Really? Yeah. Is and that like good? The last, the last commercial that I saw for it. Is it good? <laughs> Not really. Well, yeah, they they sing nicely. What about to the last trap? I don't know. But listen, the the one commercial is like uh, you've got something up your sleeve, and it's just like you see the the shower running. Okay. And this woman, she's in her robe, and it's like obviously just her robe, and she's like walking sexy to the shower. Okay. So it's like you've got something up your sleeve, and she disrobes, and she like opens up the curtains, and it's this old man, and she's like, but what you didn't know is that you were surprising your father-in-law, Steve. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. The best part wake it up. I, I guess it means because you like. Maybe at that point you didn't have that cup of coffee yet. So she couldn't think. But why is your father-in-law showering in your shower? Maybe he slept over. Slept over. And then when you got guests over, why are you trying to bang in the shower? I hate shower sex. <laughs> it's like I'm all about washing each other and this, that, and the other thing, but I tell you what. Washing each other? That's weird. Why? It's romantic. You washed your back. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff. But then getting to do it, and then you waste all that water, and you end up half drowning, or you get like drowning. water in your eye. What the fuck do you do in the shower? I'm a wild man. Oh my god. Well, you can order 25,000 different. Uh, you can order co coffee 25,000 different ways at Dunkin' Donuts. What? Yeah. You can order coffee 25,000 different ways at Dunkin Donuts. I believe it because when I go to Dunkin Donuts with Brooklyn, you go in there and it takes me about three seconds to get my coffee. <laughs> I'm like, hey man, small black coffee. Guys like, cool, here, boom, done. Brooklyn's like, I need a caramel with uh, whipped cream and she says all these like different languages then and they're like long words like, Eight, nine, ten letter words. Latte. Yeah, all types of crazy. <laughs> like, I, I would pull out Google Translate and shit to try to figure <laughs> out what she's trying to order. But, but then, yeah. after she's done saying all this, and it takes about 20 minutes for the guy to be like, oh, yeah. Because he, she's saying Starbucks words at a Dunkin' Donuts. But then the guy takes the guy like 20 minutes to make this thing. He's got like six machines going. You hear this like turbocharged jet engine thing going off. And then whipped cream frothing. and oh, Frothing. Big word. Froth. Frothing. I want an espresso machine. That's a coffee word, ain't it? Froth. Frothing. Yeah, because yep. that's, that's what made me think of the espresso machine. Yeah, they're expensive. But they're cool. So if, the, if our fans send us in uh, espresso, we'll get an espresso machine in here. What do you mean espresso? Send us an espresso. What are they going to do? Like send coffee our way? Send us money. We'll buy an espresso no, machine. No, don't send us money, folks. <laughs> well, then Brooklyn ain't getting an espresso machine because I know how much they cost. <laughs> well, like a cheap one's probably like... 300 bucks. No, it's probably yeah. more than that. For real. They're like 350 bucks. I wish. No. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Want to be a part of our circle? Bruce and Brooklyn are looking for guests. Come hang out and chill with us. Hit us up and we'll make it happen. And now back to our show. I'm always doing that when I'm on like Amazon and stuff. Like I feel like I can't tell because it's not like you're not physically shopping. Yeah, it drives me crazy sometimes. You have to read Specs everything. Specs and dimensions and how high and you really got to plan if you're. You buying really the, do, yeah. and then you got to like look at the the reviews. Yeah, go through everything. Make sure you're buying good brands and make sure uh, it's not third party um, people and. But sometimes yeah. that stuff is good to third party people. But I notice like shipping is insane like, once you especially. leave like Prime. Yeah. Especially for the stuff I normally order. Although I will say, I think doing the Amazon Prime was like the smartest thing we could have done. Yeah, stuff used to come quick. Like you'd order something and you'd be surprised it'd come next day and stuff. Well, but... things are behind with all the shipping anywhere, anyways. Yeah, with COVID and the world changing. Yeah. But I got my last coffee fact. Are you ready? Okay. Um, did you know that you could use the grounds to beautify your skin? Really? You can make like a scrub. Like, you know how you can put like a, like some people would do like a salt and a lemon stuff, the cocoa, coconut oil. Uh, but it makes you, it gets all, it's like exfoliating. Now I know there's a bunch of other stuff you're supposed to do with coffee grounds, like you put them in, in a your garden, garden yeah. or around the house that keep bugs or critters or a bunch okay. of stuff. Or maybe we should do another coffee show with stuff like that, since you didn't write no more facts. Or, I have, I have my jokes. Oh, you got jokes? I got jokes. Brooklyn got I jokes. I don't have coffee jokes. I did look for coffee jokes. <laughs> I couldn't find any. <laughs> Brooklyn got jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I got thinkers more than jokes. <laughs> Brooklyn got thinker jokes. <laughs> thinkers. Thinkers. If you put ice water on a hot dog, does that make it a chili dog? No, it makes it a mess. It makes it gross. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Can you imagine that? I just like... Like soggy buns. <laughs> just a hot dog with a bunch of ice cubes on it. But the hot dog's so hot that they're melting fast. So it's like... What do you do with that? We should throw a party, give out free hot dogs. You'd be like, free chili dogs. <laughs> yeah, free chili dogs. We'll give them to neighborhood kids. And they'll be like, what the fuck? Who <laughs> uh, was here, little kids like cursing at us? Probably get beat up. You know, uh, soy milk? Yes. Well, what if soy milk is just regular milk introducing itself in Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> soy mean in Spanish? Soy, I. That's what it means? Yeah, well, it's like a, it's like the way, the familiarization of it. <laughs> what? <laughs> so the way they say it in like Spanish. Like I am or something. The way they say it in Spanish means I. Something like that, yeah. Bruce cannot speak Spanish whatsoever. <laughs> I'm like. Or yo. Hola, amigo. That's about it. Yo? Is it yo? Two is you. Yo is I. But it's like I am for soy. Oh, so it's a I am milk? Yeah. Like, <laughs> soy milk. <laughs> so you think everybody that drinks soy milk got suckered? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> now it, it tastes different. Maybe because it came from so far away. It's spoiled. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I love when you get to the point of laughing and you just get to be like I'm dead just dead I got another funny one <laughs> uh, so if two vegetarians are arguing is it still called beef <laughs> I got beef with you I got tofu with you. <laughs> Come outside, you with tofu? <laughs> I like tofu. <laughs> I like it when it's in, um, <coughs> uh, miso that? soup. Like the miso soup. Yeah. Oh, I miss miso soup. Yeah, I, I, would, I wouldn't eat like a big old hunk of it. I don't know. But they like, have that tofurkey. 
if it's prepared a certain way and prepared with stuff, I like it. It's pretty good. It's maybe not bad should, stuff. Maybe we should like do like a like a week long segment of show where we just go vegetarian for a week and eat tofu. Who? Just tofu? Not just tofu, but like in place of Why? I just eat salad. I don't like salad. Huh? I like salad. I can, then you're a vegetarian. Well, I, but I don't just eat salad. I like my meat, too. I know. I like meat in my I salad. I get cranky if I don't have meat. I like meat in my salad. <laughs> Sounds dirty. <laughs> <laughs> you sound dirty. You get cranky when I don't like my meat. So, you know, with the whole coffee thing. <laughs> <laughs> What's your next joke? Well, listen, I'm getting there. With the whole coffee thing. I forgot where I was going with that. <laughs> oh, yeah. So... <laughs> With the whole coffee thing, um, you know how we were talking about how, it, like, when it first got started in, like, 800, yeah. that they went to the monastery, so religious, and then the religions also tried to outlaw it. Yeah. Outlaw coffee. Well, even though this has nothing to do with coffee, <laughs> it's religion, <laughs> but it's funny. So, if Mary had Jesus... Mm-hmm. And he was the Lamb of God, right? Okay. Does that mean that Mary had a little lamb? <laughs> <laughs> Is that where that came from? <laughs> Is that where that song came from? Maybe that's what it's about? I don't know. Wow. But did you know? I don't know if I told you this. But nowhere in Humpty Dumpty does it ever say that he was a fucking egg. No. I think they just drew him that way. Or in the books he was like an egg. I always thought he was a fucking egg. I always thought he was an egg too. But I never wondered why his yolk didn't spill out. <laughs> that is blood. That's we got blood. a murder scene here. <laughs> like just hanging out. No, but they put him back together again. They did, but what, I mean... And then he fell again, and then they couldn't put him like back together. Like Frankenstein? Right? They got duct tape. Duct tape. Duct tape fixes everything. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty, but he wasn't an egg. And Gorilla Glue. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're at the point in the show where we're going to talk about the 420 raffle. 420 uh, yeah, raffle. The 420 raffle. Um, so the 420 raffle... you. Enter and you will win. A uh, sweet gift glass piece. I, that, sweet that, gift. That, that, bleh, 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 bleh. Start that one over. So you're going to win a what? 420 raffle, okay? Okay, what do you win? You will win a sweet glass piece. A sweet glass piece. Sweet glass piece. They're really nice ones, too. Got to be they 21. Really cool. Must be 21 to enter. Yep. Um, so if we get 420 likes on our Facebook... 420 followers on Twitter or four and 420 subscribers on YouTube. It has to be all three different platforms. Yep, and then we'll run them as three different contests too. Yeah, we, it, that, exactly. So Facebook's its own, YouTube's its own, and Twitter's its own. Exactly. So the first one that gets it gets the nicest piece. <laughs> well, there's three different pieces. So I guess like first, second, third. Yeah. Guys? Well, two are the same. They're just two different colors, and one's. Fucking killer awesome. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> so the first platform to get the 420, we're going to do a raffle yeah. and give out. And then so on and so on. So on and so on. Yep. Uh, yeah. So. Share, share, share. Share, like, subscribe, add follow. People. And yeah. yeah, definitely, folks. I know this isn't our normal type of show, but I really thought it was interesting to do the coffee. It is our normal type of show. We don't have a normal. Yeah, I guess we really don't have a normal. And then, you know what? Every show's a different topic, so why? Yeah. So deal with it. It don't have to. Yeah, well, fuck them. Deal with it. We love you, though. It's how we like our show. Yeah, we love it. <laughs> Let's get out of here with some plugs. All right, folks. Uh, subscribe to Pot of Coffee Podcast on YouTube. Follow at Pot of Coffee 1 on Twitter. Like Pot of Coffee on Facebook. Or Facebook page. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram at Pot of Coffee Podcast, and we are also on SoundCloud under Pot of Coffee Podcast and WeTube. Yeah. Pot of Coffee. Pot of Coffee Podcast on WeTube. That's under the podcast section. 
Yeah. We do. It was really fun. Yeah, we've been enjoying watching all the shows on that. I think we followed a couple of people. Yeah, we follow people on there, and uh, usually, and usually too, guys. If you follow or like us, we'll do the same to you. Yeah, we give it right back. Well, that's how you share love. Yeah. If they're gonna love us, we're gonna love them. One love. Yeah, they're one of us. Why don't you like our stuff and follow with us? Yeah. We're like fam. Fam, yo. That's how we do it. All right, get the fuck out of here, fam. Wow, that's not even cool. (laughs) No. All right, people, we'll talk later. Bye, guys.